I recently did a video where I shared what I always buy at the Dollar Tree, like what's worth it for the money, and so I decided I'm gonna do the same thing today with Walmart and share with you things that you should always be buying at Walmart because it's always gonna be the best price. One thing that is usually a better deal at Walmart is a lot of the baby stuff. So what I actually did is looked at some products that they were selling at Walmart and compared the exact same products to Amazon. For example, they have the Bumbo seat for $39.44 at Walmart and on Amazon it was charging you $54.99. They have the Infantino carrier for $46.74 at Walmart and it's $49.49 at Amazon. And even something like the Nose Free Day, you're gonna pay 73 cents more on Amazon, which I know isn't a lot, but when you sort of add it all up, you're saving more at Walmart. What I will say is you'll want to sort of like cross-reference your prices as you're shopping at Walmart because while there are a ton of things that you can save money on, some of the stuff is not always necessarily the best price. For example, I found the pack and play was like eight or ten dollars more at Walmart than it was on Amazon. Things like diapers, you're actually going to get cheaper um, somewhere on Amazon, especially if you're using the subscribe and save option that Amazon offers. So it's best if you can sort of cross-reference or price check while you're in the store using like your Amazon app. Coffee lots of times is going to be cheaper at Walmart. This is a box of 16 K-Cups for $10. I usually only get 12 for $10 at my grocery store. Store. So definitely cheaper for coffee, K-cups, tea, that sort of stuff, you're gonna get a really good deal at Walmart. You might be asking Callie, why are you filming the coffee section in the pet section? Well, that's because the coffee section is really popular at Walmart, so. Lots of times name brand cleaning supplies are going to be cheapest at Walmart. Laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, all of that sort of stuff, dish dish soap. When it comes to cleaning supplies, you're most definitely going to save money at Walmart versus going to your grocery store. But I was sort of curious if you would really save money from some of the other main competitors. So I compared the prices of Gain, Tide, Lysol, Clorox, and Miss Myers between Walmart, Amazon, and Target. And what I'll say is Walmart was always either the cheapest or equal price. And none of these instances was the product more expensive at Walmart. So it's definitely the place to shop for cleaning supplies in my opinion, because you can just sort of trust knowing you're either gonna get the cheapest price or you're gonna get the best price available. Another item I find to always be a great deal at Walmart is their storage containers. I find these to be cheaper than Target and Amazon. One example is they have these hefty storage containers. These are the ones with the locking tops that I really like. You're going to pay $10.44 at Walmart. And on Amazon, you can get a set of four, but you're gonna pay $52 for those. So you're essentially paying like $2.50 more per storage container. All right, I always find Walmart to be a good place to shop for clothes. I've done some Walmart clothing hauls in the past. I'll link some of that down below. Down below. I'm actually wearing a Walmart shirt and Walmart overalls right now. Um, so I find it a great place to check out for clothes. Now here's the thing that I'll say about shopping for clothes at Walmart. It can be a little bit tricky. Lots of times the stuff that they have in store, you're not later going to be able to find online or if you do, it's gonna be sold out because things sell out really quickly. And then when you do shop online, there's like way more options, but you can, obviously can't see the item. And the thing about Walmart I tend to find is very often you'll find amazing deals at a super low price for like a great piece of clothing. But then other times it's like really obvious that this item only cost $10. Always scan your store when you go in because new stuff is coming in all the time. You can check it out, see what the quality is like, but don't be afraid to shop for clothing on walmart.com either because they offer totally free returns. You can literally like return right to your local Walmart and like save yourself having to go to the post office and dealing with that. So it can definitely be hit or miss, but it is worth it to scan it or try some stuff out because you can find some amazing deals. And if you're interested in like affordable fashion, Walmart fashion, Amazon fashion, I'm always sharing my favorite finds on my Instagram as well. So make sure to follow me over there because whenever I find great deals, I am sure to let you guys know. Office supplies are another good thing to always get at Walmart. Actually last year when I did my back to school shopping video, I compared which stores were the best and Walmart was really, really good. So in general, when it comes to office supplies, I would say like your day-to-day -day back to school and office supplies, you're gonna get pretty good prices, but you're gonna get the best prices at Walmart during that back to school season, which we're just about to come up to. My last thing you should always buy at Walmart that you might not think about is money orders. I often need to get money orders because I honestly don't really have a checkbook. I don't carry it around. Sometimes you need checks for things and so money orders work really, really great for this. If you go to your post office, you're gonna pay any 
anywhere from $1.25 to $1.65 for a money order. If you go to a bank, usually they're gonna charge you $5, but Walmart only charges 70 cents for a money order. So it's something you should definitely consider getting at Walmart if you're ever in need of a money order. All right, guys, that does it with my list of things that I always buy at Walmart. These are things that I just personally find to be the cheapest. Now, for me, this means they're cheaper than the other places I shop, the grocery store, Amazon, Target, those sorts of places. I don't know for sure if all these things are cheaper than some of like the bulk buying stores like Costco's or Sam's Club because I don't shop at those. I don't have any of those near me. I'm definitely curious about trying out some of these bulk shopping places, um, but if it's something you'd be interested in seeing, I definitely would be up for the challenge. Just let me know down below, maybe like what bulk store do you shop at that you really like? And I'd be really curious to try it out and see what the prices are like. That being said, if you liked this video, I will link some of my other favorite money saving videos down below for you to check out. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. This is literally where you can get most of stuff for cheapest. Most of stuff for cheapest. You know what I mean? Walmart, way cheaper than get. <laughs> I'm very serious about that. Are you very serious about that?